You saw a large, gray, furry animal streak across the road or down the forest path in front of you. Or, you heard eerie howls in the darkness. Was it a coyote? Was it a wolf? Wolves and coyotes are two types of canines that share many common traits. They are members of the dog family, Canidae, and both types of canines belong to the genus Canis, which also includes jackals and domestic dogs. A coyote looks like a wolf, but in fact both wolves and coyotes have many differences between them. Sometimes coyotes are referred to as barking dogs. Hi, welcome to Thera Planet. Now we're going to talk about what are some similarities and differences between wolves and coyotes. Wolves and coyotes have many similarities, but there are evident differences and you compare them side by side. Wolves and coyotes are both dog-like in appearance, have similar social organizations, and are perceived to be threats to livestock. Some of the following differences may be difficult to determine at a distance, but will allow you to easily identify each of these two species. Here are five comparison of these two amazing animals. If you haven't already, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload new video. Number 5. Differences in Appearance When you compare a wolf and a coyote side by side, the wolf will have a broader face and the coyote a slender face by comparison. Wolves are much larger and heavier than coyotes. They are about twice as big. Coyotes measure between 29 and 39 inches long, while gray wolves measure 34 to 51 inches long. Their weight differential provides a more drastic comparison. Coyotes usually weigh a maximum of 46 pounds, while wolves can reach weights up to 176 pounds. The dark nose pad is larger on the wolf. The wolf's ears will be shorter and rounded in shape, while the coyotes are taller and pointy. Coyotes have longer ears and a more pointed nose than wolves. Their legs are noticeably thinner and shorter than those of wolves. Coyotes' tails tend to be bushier, and they typically hold them down toward the ground. The fur of the coyote tends to brown and pale yellow. While gray wolves do feature pale, gray fur, their fur tends to be on the darker side. Most gray wolves have dark gray to black hair. Red wolves have intricate, reddish-brown fur. Their bodies can also have several yellow and white patches, with these patches being most apparent on their limbs, face, and chest. Number 4. Differences in Sounds The howls of coyotes and wolves are entirely different. Upon close observation, you'd notice that coyotes tend to make high-pitched howls, barks, and yelps. This sound is also similar to the sound of a playful pack of terriers. Their howls range from short, mid-pitched tones to higher-pitched barks that often sounds like a scream or a high-pitched human laugh. In general, coyotes also tend to bark a lot. These howls and barks are an aspect of their pack behavior. If you find the howling to be on a higher note, it indicates for the pack to be together. Wolves appear to howl to communicate with the other members of the pack and other packs. They also howl to attract mates, when they wake up, and when they sense any danger. These communications may involve location or confrontation over territory.
Number 3. Habitat. Coyotes have now almost successfully covered North America's entire continent. This range also includes significant portions of Canada and Alaska. Some species of coyotes have also stretched along with Mexico and down to Central America, going as far as Panama. While wolves historically ranged throughout North America's maximum parts, they are now only found in Canada, some northern states of the US, and the famous Yellowstone National Park. Being massive predators, wolves and coyotes are often found to compete for similar habitats and foods. The range of coyotes has expanded primarily due to the decrease in the overall population of wolves. Number 2. Social Structure Wolves are highly social creatures that live and hunt in packs. Wolves are known for their pack mentality and social structure, with each pack comprising of 8 to 12 members. These include the alpha male, his mate, who is known as the alpha female, their offspring and the alpha male's siblings. This pack structure is maintained at all times. Only the alpha male and his mate breed, although all pack members help care for the pups. Coyotes are also social, and packs are more prevalent than mated pairs. Complex packs are more likely to occur in the northern and western parts of their range. In contrast to wolves, coyotes have developed a more solitary means of hunting. This may be due to the fact that coyotes prey on smaller animals than wolves. Number 1. Differences in Diet Coyotes are generally considered shy and non-confrontational and their main foods are smaller animals like mice and rabbits, certain vegetation, and carrion. They often hunt in pairs and prey on animals, like deer when together. Wolves, on the other hand, prey on larger animals like goat, sheep, and moose and hunt in packs. They use the method of scent marking to determine their territories and track down prey. Sometimes coyotes can be found in the less human inhabited places, but usually do not cause any harm to the residents there. In fact, coyotes are helpful to human beings to an extent. They prey on the small rodents, which destroy cultivation. These animals are often considered intelligent and adaptable. However, it can attack and feed on your poultry and pet birds, if left unnoticed. To keep these animals away from your pets, you can use bright flashlight, make loud noises to scare them away, and keep your pets in safe cages or fences. Wolves also are secretive and run on seeing people. To keep wolves away from your surroundings, always maintain clean and secure surroundings. However, coyotes are considered to be more adaptable to humans than wolves. They usually do not attack humans owing to their small sizes and shy behavior. The bottom line. Because both species are losing habitat due to climate change, scientists have discovered that wolves and coyotes are beginning to interbreed. Hybridization between wolves, coyotes and domestic dogs may be a way for the species to adapt and survive in changing environmental conditions. So, how do you think, what is your favorite, a coyote or wolf? Please leave a comment below. As always if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, share with your friends and check out another videos on Thera Planet. Thanks for watching and see you next time.